Turkish police have detained a suspect who discharged a shotgun into the air in an area close to the Israeli consulate in Istanbul, Turkey's state-run news agency reported. The suspect, who was not identified, fired five or six shots into the air as he arrived in the area late on Thursday, Anadolu agency said. Several police teams were dispatched to the area, and the suspect was detained during an operation conducted by Special Operations Police, according to the report. It was not clear if anyone was in the building. Israel had pulled out its diplomats from Turkey due to security concerns. Turkey has emerged as one of the most vocal critics of Israel's military actions in Gaza. Israeli airstrikes on Thursday hit sites in Beirut's southern suburbs, setting explosions between buildings in the area known as Dahia. Israel said it was targeting Hezbollah facilities and interests after issuing evacuation warnings prior to the airstrikes. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike on an apartment building in the town of Aramoun, just south of Beirut, killed at least six people and wounded 15 others, Lebanon's health ministry said. The state-run national news agency reported that there were children missing after the strike and it wasn't clear if they are under the rubble or were transferred to a hospital. There was no warning issued before the strike, and it was not clear what the target was. There was no immediate statement from the Israeli military. Israel has also been striking deeper inside Lebanon since September as it escalates the war against Hezbollah. Israel forces invaded South Lebanon on October 1, causing widespread destruction in border villages but making little advances on the ground inside the country. Israeli forces and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when Hezbollah began launching rockets across the border in support of its ally. Hamas, in Gaza. The conflict escalated beginning in mid-September. Israel has launched a widespread aerial bombardment of Lebanon and a ground invasion that it said is intended to push Hezbollah back from the border.